everyone. My name is Chi. I'm nine years old. Today, I will talk about my homework. Throughout the history of mankind, three little words has been poets to the blank page. To the lobsters to the agora. And seeker to the ocaro. Who am I? From the ancient Greek, Aphrodis inscribed on the temple of Apollo. Know this stuff. To the hooves, rock at them. Who are you? Philosopher, physicalist, academics, scientists, artists, theologians, and politicians have all attacked the subject of identity. Their hypotheses are widely varied and lack central king's consensus. These are smart, creative people. So, what's so hard about coming with the right answer? So, one challenge certainly lies with one complex concept of the heresies of identity. Which you is who? The person you are today. Five years ago? Who would you be in fifty years? And when is M? This week, today, this hour, this second. And which aspect of you is I? Are you your physical body? Your thoughts and feelings, your actions. These murky water apartheid logic. Are tricky to negative, and so it's probably fitting that to decimate in complexity. The Greek historian Plutarch uses the history of a ship. How are you, I? As the tale goes. Thesis in the mythical founder kings of Athens, single-handedly slayed the evil mentor as a treaty, then returned home on a ship to the honor of the harsh feet. For one thousand years, Athenis personally maintained his ship. In the harbor, and annually protect his voyage. Whenever a part of the ship was worn or damaged, it was replaced with an identical piece of the same metal. Until at some points, no original parts remained. Bullshit nodded. The ship of Theseus was an example of a philosophical paradox, revolving around the persons of identity. How can every single part of something be replaced? Yet it still remains the same thing. Let's image there are two ships. The ship that Theseus docked in Athens, ship A, and the ship sailed by Athens, one thousand years later, ship B. Very simply, our question is this: Does A equal B? Some would say that for one thousand years there was been only one ship of Theseus. And because in the chain made 
to it to happen. <laughs> Guardly. It's never at any point of in the time stop it being a legendary ship. So they have absolutely no parts in common. The two ships are not only identical, meaning one the same. So A equals B. However, other could arrange the thesis never sit put on ship B. And his presence on the ship is an instant qualitative property. Of shift of thesis, it cannot survive without him. So, so the ship are normally identical. They are not quality identical. Thus, A does not equal B. But what happens when we consider the twist? What if has each piece of an original ship was cast off. Somebody collected them all and rebuilt the entire original ship. When it is, was finished, undoubtedly two physical ships would be exited. The one that's dark in Athens. And some one in some guy's backyard. Each could lay claim to the title of the ship of thesis. But only what could actually be the real things. So which one is it? And more probably, what does this have to do with you? Like the ship of thesis. You're a collection of constantly changing parts. Your physical body, mind, emotions, currencies, and even your creatures. Always changing, but still in an amazing and sometimes illogical way. You stay the same too. This is one of the reasons that the question, who am I, is so complex. And in order to answer it, like so many great minds before you, you must be willing to dive into the bottomless ocean of the physical paradox. Or maybe you could just answer. I am legendary hero sailing a powerful ship on an epic journey. That could work too.